Ready. Play. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. What? I just did this a few minutes ago for the women's preview. You'll get the idea. Uh, let's get on with this. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and also get in the comment section below uh, to tell me your thoughts and your predictions on whether you agree or disagree with mine. Of course, we are here having done the women just shortly uh, ago. Can you say shortly ago? Don't know, but I just did. Anyway, uh, we're here, of course, to look at the men's draw and Nostradamus will be making his picks. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and make sure you tune in with us for our Wimbledon daily shows coming at you 10 a.m. local time in the UK every morning where we will be live from the streets of, you guessed it, Wimbledon. Yeah. Anyway, we're here to do the draw thing now, so let's get on with that. Uh, the draw thing, the predictions thing, you know what I mean. So let's click play now on this uh, wonderful application and let's get into these predictions. World number one and number one seed, Carlos Alcaraz. He will overcome, I think, with fairly comfortable ease, Jeremy Chardy of France. An all-French clash here, by the way. Uh, we've got a lot of French players at the top of this draw here, by the way. Um, and I don't know why I keep saying by the way, but you get the idea. Uh, let's go with Rindenech to knock out his compatriot Müller. We'll go with, let's go with Kubler to knock out Hugo Humbert. And we'll go with Nicolas Jarry to knock out the Italian Cecinato. And we'll go with Zverev to knock out the Dutch qualifier Bruver. And uh, Husler to prevail against the lucky loser uh, Watanuki. Uh, Berrettini, what shape is he in? I think if he's close to being fully fit and healthy, he wins. So we've got to go with him over Sonigo. And we'll go with Demonor, the grass demon, as I call him, but no one else does. Uh, Francis Tiafo to knock out Yibing Wu. That's an interesting clash all the same. And we'll go with Alexei Popperin to knock out the Swiss qualifier Stricker. We'll go with... Um, let's go with Ivashka to knock out the Argentinian Korea, but who knows on that one. Let's go with Dimitrov uh, to knock out the Japanese qualifier Shimabukuro. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but don't have that many Japanese viewers. If you are Japanese and you are watching, let me know what you think about my pronunciation in the comment section below. Um, let's go with Alejandro Davidovich Fakina to knock out Artur Fis, uh, the wild card from France. Uh, I think Davidovich Fakina on grass is an interesting combo, particularly with the way he likes to dive around the court. And we remember him knocking out her catch in that epic first round last year. Let's go with Botic van der Sandschup to knock out Zizheng Zhang. And we'll go with Arnaldi to knock out the Spaniard Carbeas Baena. And Holger Runa to knock out the Brit wild card Lofhagen. And let's go with Daniel Medvedev, of course, returning to Wimbledon after the Russian and Belarusian ban was lifted. So Medvedev, of course, at three seed, I would have him beating uh, the British wildcard Arthur Ferry. Um, let's go with, oh, by the way, Manorino looked like he was struggling with an injury today. But assuming he's fit and healthy, I think he knocks out Shevchenko. Uh, let's go with Marcus Giron to knock out Delian. Uh, let's go with Fucevic to cause a surprise, maybe against Griegsbor. Sarundolo from Argentina to knock out Nuno Borges. And we'll go with Lehetska over the wildcard, Ofna. Ryanich, let's have him winning a match at the very least as he returns to Grand Slam tennis. Uh, what feels like almost two years off the scene in, in terms of Grand Slams, at least. Of course, he has been back on the tour for a couple of weeks now. Uh, let's go with Tommy Paul to knock out uh, Moshizuki. And we'll go with Cam Norrie over the Czech qualifier, Mashak. And we'll go Chris Eubanks uh, to knock out Thiago Montero. And I would suggest uh, Chris O'Connell will beat uh, Medjedovic. And we'll go with Sebi Korda to knock out Yidi Vesely. Ben Shelton to win a match over Tara Daniel. Uh, Maxime Cressy, Sir Volia, Maxime Cressy. Uh, hasn't really had a great 2023, I would argue. But let's have him knocking out Les Logier. And if Maxime Cressy is going to go far at any Grand Slam, 
It's going to be this one, isn't it? Uh, all British Affair, Ryan Penniston, uh, not to be mispronounced, over Andy Murray, but of course I have Andy Murray to win that one. Andy Murray very close to being seeded, but to be honest with you, his draw's been pretty, pretty kind. Uh, I would suggest he couldn't really get much better as an unseeded player. So he can't complain. Uh, I have him beating Penniston in the first round. Maybe that'll go four sets, mind you. Let's have Pass beating Dominic Team. Uh, sorry, Dominic Team fans, but I think even a fully fit and firing and full of confidence Dominic Team, uh, I think grass is probably his weakest surface. In fact, no, there's no probably about it. Definitely. Um, I don't see him progressing against City Pass. Uh, let's have Yannick Sinela to knock out Juan Manuel Sarondolo. Uh, we'll go with Ketsmanovic to beat Diego Schwartzman. And we'll go with Altmaier to beat Vukic. Uh, let's go with Dan Evans. Or is it Daniel Evans? I don't know. Uh, I know Roger Federer calls him Danny. But whatever. Evans to beat Quinton Hallis. Uh, let's go with Nishioka to knock out Galan. And we'll go with Oscar Otter to beat the German Kerpfer in that all-German affair there. We'll go with Michael Jumer to knock out Molchan. I'll go with Taylor Fritz over Hanfman, but Taylor Fritz is, I'm telling you now, he's not in a great place in terms of his tennis. But last year's quarter-finalist, and for many, I think last year he was a contender, but not for that many this year, I would suggest. Uh, that's a tough first round for him against Hanfman, but I will have him emerging the winner. We'll go with Borna Chorich, new hair and all, uh, to knock out Pelo. I say new hair, it's constantly evolving as hair does. Wow, four French players in a row. Bonzi over Maya. Let's go with Maya to knock out Bonzi. We'll go with Gasquet to knock out Moutet as well. I think Gasquet is underrated on this surface. Uh, let's go with Roberto Bautista Agut to knock out Safiulin. And we'll go with Shapovalov to beat Albot. Again, Shapovalov a couple of years ago, you know, he was a contender. He certainly got to the semi, you know, got to the semifinals and certainly in the first set against Novak Djokovic uh, made that a very competitive match. Uh, but again, Shapo, a bit like one or two other grass court specialists such as Berrettini, such as Hercac, um, and probably Taylor Fritz, they're just not in great form right now. Um, anyway. Uh, moving swiftly on, let's go with Lloyd Harris to win his first round match against the Frenchman Barrer. Uh, friend of the show, Liam Brody. Let's have him beating uh, Jamie's friend, uh, Constant Lestienne. Uh, but that one could easily go five sets. Uh, let's go with Casper. Uh, I don't play on grass rude unless it's golf. Uh, let's have him winning his first round match anyway over the Frenchman. Luckily, uh, unluckily for some. Bad joke. Don't. Repeat. Uh, let's go with Andre Rublev to knock out Purcell. But again, this is not going to be a, a deep run from Rublev. I don't think it's not his surface. Um, let's go with uh, Karatsev against the unfortunately named Van Ash. And we will go with uh, the qualifier from uh, Chile, Barrios Vera, Vera, sorry, I should say, to knock out his fellow South American, but from Argentina, Sebastian. Baez, uh, let's go with Nick Kyrgios as another grass court player who you would expect to go far or possibly go far. But, you know, I think he's been struggling with an injury most of the year and he started his grass court season, but it's been a stop start or more of a stop than a start season for him so far, and particularly on the grass. Um, let's go with Bublik, of course, just picking up a title at Halle, but the Halle curse could yet return with this first round match against McDonald. But I'm just going to go with Bublik. Uh, the Haller curse, by the way, in that the last, I don't know, half a dozen winners of the German tour grass court tournament have ended up going out in the first round at Wimbledon. Last year, of course, it was Hubert Hercatch. Uh, let's go with uh, JJ Wolf to knock out uh, the Frenchman Kukard. And uh, we'll go with the German qualifier, Malterra, uh, Malterra, Malterra uh, Maximilian, uh, to knock out uh, Borna Gojo. And we'll go with Felix, again, another sort of grass court guy. A year ago, for me, he was a contender, and yet he went out in the first round to Maxine Cressy last year. Semi-finalist, I think, was he in, was he quarter-finalist or semi-finalist in, in 2021? Um, am I making that up? I don't think so. But uh, he's not been in great form of late. Anyway, let's go with Musetti to beat uh, uh, Juan Pablo Varillas. And we'll go with John Isner, big serving John over Dusan Lajovic and uh, let's go with 
no, over Juanmi Muna. Yeah, you can see on the screen, I hope. Uh, let's go with uh, Lajovic over uh, the Brit uh, Choinsky, and we'll go with Hubi Hercatch over Ramos Vinolas. Uh, let's go with Echeverri to knock out the Spaniard Zapata Mirales, and we'll go with Rusevori to beat Stan Wawrinka in the first round, and we'll go with Nakashima and Djokovic to prevail. So they will meet in round two. Nakashima, wasn't he in the quarterfinals last year, I think? Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's have Alcaraz to progress at the expense of Rindanek. Let's go with Kubla over Nicholas Jari. Let's go with Alex Ferev over Husla. And we'll go with Berrettini to knock out Dimonor. But listen, that one really could go either way. Let's go with Tiafo over Popperin. Let's go with Dimitrov over Ivashka. Let's go with Davidish Fakina to knock out Botovic van der Sansup in one of the longest name matches of the tournament. Uh, in the, you know, both names are ridiculously long. You get the idea. Anyway, uh, let's go with Holger Rune to knock out Arnaldi. Let's go with Medvedev over Manorino. But I think they played each other quite recently on grass with Manorino winning. But this time I see Medvedev emerging the winner. Let's go with... Fucevic over Giron, Sarundolo to knock out Lehetska, uh, Tommy Paul to beat Ryanich, Cam Norrie over Christopher Eubanks, but that's a tricky second round for Cam. Uh, Sebi Korda, by the way, I think it's a pretty tricky path for Cam Norrie, last year's semi finals of course, winning the first set against Novak Djokovic before losing that four-setter. Um, let's go with Maxine Cressy to knock out Ben Shelton in that All-American affair. Uh, let's go with Andy Murray to beat... Stefanos Tsitsipas. I heard that Andy Murray played a practice set with Novak Djokovic today, and Murray won that practice set 6 2. Hmm. Um, for what it's worth, do we take practice sets seriously? Maybe not. Anyway, uh, let's go with Yannick Sinner to knock out Ketsmanovic. Let's go with Dan Evans to beat Altmaier, and we'll go with Nishioka to beat Oscar Otter. No, we're not. We're going to go with Oscar Otter to beat Nishioka. Hmm. Call me crazy. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's go with Taylor Fritz over Yamur, and we'll go with Mayo to knock out Chorich. Let's go with Roberto Bautista Agut to bring Richard Gasquet's Wimbledon run to an end. We'll go with Shabavalov over Lloyd Harris. Casper Ruud, Liam Brody. Gonna go with Casper on that one. But, you know, Liam obviously looking to emulate his third round appearance last year. He could do it. It's not a bad draw for him. But let's go with Kasper. I don't play on tennis on grass. Rude. Uh, let's go with Karatsev to upset his compatriot Rublev. Uh, let's go with Nick Kyrgios to beat uh, Barrios Vera. We'll go with Bublik over JJ Wolf. Felix over the German uh, qualifier Maximilian Marterara. And we'll go with Musetti to knock out Big John Isner. We'll go with Hukach to beat Lajovic, Echeverri to knock out Rusevori, and Djokovic to drop a set but overcome Nakashima. Alcaraz beats Kubla, Zverev beats Berrettini, sorry Matteo, uh, Tiafo knocks out Dimitrov. Ooh, Davidish Vakina, Holger Runa. We'll go with Holger, but that one could go either way. Medvedev to beat Fucevic. Sorondolo to knock out Tommy Paul, Sebi Korda to upset or beat Cam Norrie. Uh, Sebi Korda, of course, had a good run at Queen's recently where he got to the semi-finals before losing to Alcaraz. Sebi Korda's, by the way, been very big on his chances on the grass. I think he's feeling pretty confident. And we'll go with Andy Murray to beat Maxime Cressy. Boy, oh boy, Andy Murray getting to the second week of Wimbledon for the first time since, I'm going to say, 20... 17 maybe, 2016? Well, you won it in 2016, so something like that. You, you, you get the idea. It's been a while anyway. Uh, I'm sure someone's going to let me know in the comments anyway below. And don't forget to hit the like button and, of course, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers. We're on our way, but we need you. So just click that subscribe button, please. Uh, Yannick Sinner to knock out Dan Evans. Uh, Yannick Sinner, of course, getting to the quarterfinals last year before he lost to Novak in five sets. Let's go with Taylor Fritz beating Oscar Otter. Let's go with Roberto Bautista Gut knocking out Mayotte. We'll go with Shapovalov 
uh, ending the grass court run of Casper Ruud and he can return to the hard courts uh, with a bounce. Let's go with Nick Kyrgios knocking out Aslan Karatsev and we'll go with Felix Ogier Aliassim knocking out Alexander Bublik. And let's go with Musetti to beat her catch. Mm. Djokovic beating Echeverri. Round of 16. Alcaraz beats Sverev. Runa beats Tiafo. Medvedev beats Sarundalo. Korda brings the run of Andy Murray to an end. Yannick Sinner beats Taylor Fritz. Roberto Bautista Agut knocks out Shapovalov. Mm, Felix Ogialiasim beats Nick Kyrgios. And Novak Djokovic knocks out Lorenzo Masset Musetti. Alcaraz in the quarterfinals. Here's our quarterfinal lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty strong, I would suggest. Alcaraz beats Runa. Medvedev or Sebi Korda. Let's go with Sebi Korda beating Medvedev. Yannick Sinner knocks out Bautista a good, and Novak Djokovic beats Felix Ogier Aliassim. Carlos Alcaraz beats Sebi Korda, and Yannick Sinner beats Novak Djokovic. Hmm. Now we have Alcaraz against Sinner in the final. Not many people predicting Sinner to go all the way to the final, I imagine. And I'll have Alcaraz to lift his first Wimbledon title, his second Grand Slam, beating Yannick Sinner in the final. Remember, every day during Wimbledon, I will be live from the streets of Wimbledon to bring you a preview of that day's play. So make sure you tune in at 10 o'clock, local time that is, so that's 11 a.m. in uh, Central European time, and I think it's 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Time in the US. We'll be live every day from the streets of Wimbledon uh, to preview the day's action, maybe chatting to a few friends of the show as well. So, Tennis World, I hope you like my predictions, but to be honest with you, even if you don't, just let me know in the comment section below. Tennis World, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.